using reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, in COVID-19 testing. COVID-19 testing usually begins with a swab of the nose or throat. Saliva, mucus, or fluid from a patient's lungs can also be used. The swab of a person with COVID-19 will contain a mixture of human cells, virus particles, and other microbes. Like all living things, the human cell has DNA as the genetic material that passes on information from one generation to the next. The DNA molecule is made up of two strands that look like a twisted ladder or double helix. However, the COVID-19 virus, SARS-CoV-2, and many other viruses, including HIV, have RNA as their genetic material, genome. RNA is chemically very similar to DNA, but has only a single strand. The virus RNA is surrounded by a nucleocapsid protein within the virus envelope. Other proteins are embedded in the envelope itself. The SARS-CoV-2 genome contains genes, blue arrows, that carry the directions for making these and other proteins that are needed to replicate the virus inside the human cell. The objective of COVID-19 testing is to identify part of the viral genome in the patient sample. This is usually the end gene which carries directions for making the nucleocapsid protein. There is not enough viral RNA to detect directly in the patient's sample, so a process called reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, amplifies many copies of a segment of the end gene. Short, single-stranded pieces of DNA, called primers, recognize unique RNA sequences within the viral genome that bracket the target region of the end gene. After the first primer binds, an enzyme called reverse transcriptase extends, synthesizes, a single-stranded DNA copy of the viral RNA, known as complementary DNA, or cDNA. After the RNA is removed, the second primer binds to the other side of the single-stranded cDNA. Then, a second enzyme, TAC-DNA polymerase, extends a second strand to produce the double-stranded DNA copy of the target region of the viral RNA. This DNA copy then undergoes successive rounds, cycles, of amplification during which the DNA separates, denatures into single strands, both primers bind, anneal, to their target sequences, TAC polymerase extends, synthesizes a new DNA strand, and so on. The number of copies of the target region of the viral genome doubles with each cycle. After 30 cycles, up to a billion DNA copies of the viral RNA are produced by PCR. In practice, the virus is typically detected with 30 to 45 cycles of PCR. Adding a fluorescent probe allows the amount of target DNA to be detected in real time and quantified after each cycle of PCR. This graph shows the detection of 200, 20, and only two virus RNA molecules in a controlled study. Results from swabs vary. A negative result is also shown. See these DNA Learning Center animations for a more detailed look at the PCR process.